せっかくの機会じゃ存分に楽しめそして確実に仕留めるAll right, what's going on, guys? Pavel's back again, coming at you with a showcase on a 105 T20 Yoruichi. Shout out to my boy Etro for letting me do the showcase. As always, my man's always putting in the work to、uh, let me do these showcases.、Uh, you'll see here Soul Reaper and Arankar Killer, level 10 SP. Going into her skills, we do have the team party stamina recovery plus 20%. Now, what I like about this character is she has a built in full stamina damage boost. With the T20, we have full stam long stride. So, full stamina damage boost 45%. And the fact that this character has team party stamina recovery 20% means that your entire party is going to have some support. And on top of that, you also have access to ailment reversal, which means that you'll be getting big heals throughout the runs. Now, keep in mind that we have very low HP thanks to the fortification pill and hollow bait. T20 is actually the only reason. We have、um, ab <laughs> above、uh, stamina when it comes down to our links. You'll see here that we have Sprinter plus one. She is a Yoruichi character, and Yoruichis naturally have three flash steps. So even if she didn't have Sprinter, she'd have three flash steps. But because she has Sprinter plus one, that is four flash steps. And she also has Marauder, which honestly, I think that this character was designed specifically to be able to compete with Aizen, just so that way the people are willing to summon for these characters. That's a really big issue that they had when 5th Anniversary Biaki came out. They kind of made the 5th Anniversary Biaki so good. That every single character that came out that was speed was literally dog water compared to her.、Uh, well, compared to him. So there was no point in summoning. And even when they made a good character like Ishin, at the end of the day, people preferred、uh, Aizen just be, excuse me, people preferred Byakia just because Ishin didn't have、uh, Marauder. Like he didn't have Guard Break, he didn't have Marauder, so he was still kind of left in the dirt when it came down to it. Sure, he could clear faster, but what good is clearing faster when. You can only use them in one piece of content where Byakia you literally use everywhere, including different other, other guild quests. Because this was also before Hard Guild Quest came out.、Uh, so we have Berserker of 40%, which is huge to have when you have full stamina damage boost 45%. Devastation 40%, reduced strong attack cooldown from the link. Havoc 20%, Frenzy Debilitator plus 5 seconds, weakening on everything. Increased status, element chance against all enemies that are mined. Uh, we have the ailment reversal, which we talked about, long stride and status ailment, spiritual pressure boost plus 80%. Now, I did、uh, proper damage calculations and I wanted to talk about、uh, how this spiritual pressure boost affected damage because a lot of people are wondering, oh, who is better, her, her or Aizen? And honestly, my real,、um, my honest thoughts when it comes down to it, I do believe that Aizen is better. But that is not to say that、uh, this Yoruichi is bad. And I want to talk about、uh, the numbers a bit. Now, I apologize for those that just want to see gameplay, but I want to talk about why this character, in my opinion, does hold up her end of the deal when it comes down to whether or not you should summon for her. Now, let's just talk about Aizen real quick. He has a built in damage inflicted at full stam 20%, whereas we will naturally T15 or T20 him just because he's that damn good. Let's be real here. Even if you're a free to play new player, you want him T15. Uh, like, you will get him to T15 unless you're bad at the game. So let's just get into it. We do have the two,、uh, full stamina damage boost 45% because he's worth it. He, he definitely heals back up to full stam because of his drain and weakening. He has frenzy plus two, which means that we're going to multiply his damage by,、um, by three because, you know, plus 200%. Yeah, okay. So it's times three instead of times two, which is frenzy is、uh, double damage.、Uh, frenzy plus two is literally triple damage. Then we're going to multiply this by 60% Berserker. So we're going to do 1.6. And we're going to get a total of 696 damage. Now, this is incredibly important. Now, going into Yoruichi, Yoruichi has what does she have? She has Frenzy, right? Frenzy plus one. So we have times two damage. Let's assume that we're going to give her 60% Berserker. Let's just keep it even between the two because、like, we're not going to run them naked unless we're like resurrecting them in like 30 years. So、uh, we're going to get times two damage there because that's going to be 200% more damage, right? Uh, times one damage is plus the zero percent berserker, a、uh, 200 percent. So, times two damage is going to be the berserker. So, we're going to have 400 damage here. Now, this is not really all that crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like <clears throat> 696 versus 400, but we didn't take into account the fact that Yoruichi has spiritual pressure plus 80 percent, you know what I'm saying? So, we have the、uh, times 1.45. For the full stamina damage boost, now we're gonna go up to 580. And now here's where stuff gets bonkers. Since she has the status ailment in、uh, increased status ailment chance against mine attribute enemies, we're gonna get a 12% chance per hit. And she does have frenzy, so she's gonna have multiple hits. 
to proc and then give herself a status ailment spiritual pressure boost which does last i believe for i'm not sure if it lasts 10 or 20 seconds i don't think it really matters all that much but it does matter a bit uh and that damage is going to increase her output damage by roughly 65 to 75 percent so we're going to multiply it by 1.7 just to be fair and you'll see here that her damage compared to aizen's is she deals 41.7 percent raw damage more than aizen now keep in mind there are various reasons why i believe aizen is better and the first and foremost is going to be uh let's just pull him up here is let's pull uh let's pull up daddy over here you'll see here that aizen has frenzy plus two so naturally he's gonna have a lot more hits next we're gonna go into his kit yoruichi has a 750 aoe where he has a 1000 width so he already has more width than your than yoruichi right he does have he doesn't have the futa baby dick he has the futa big grand monstrous con so length 3000 width 1020 second strong attack she has an 870 lunge for a strong attack good lunge sure but does it compete with a 960 aoe radius second strong attack no and then on top of that he has a homing vortex which actually deals double damage because they are both considered separate entity strong attacks which in my opinion is broken as all hell and then you have 75 hits over here so she is he easily heals back up to full whereas yoruichi if you want to heal back up to full and you don't aren't able to move to the next stage um you have to get hit multiple times and then standard full screen third strong attack where uh hers is going to be superior there if she's able to proc her status element which is very easy for her to do especially if there are multiple enemies but if it's like 1v1 scenario um she's going to be superior like content like epic raids if both of them are bonus she's going to be better whereas if you're doing content like um where there's like multiple waves of enemies and stuff like that aizen if you're one-shotting the enemies dealing almost double his damage well dealing 40 percent more damage than him is not really going to matter all that much since he's going to be one-shotting them and his vortex is going to last an extended period of time on top of the 960 aoe so uh is she really good yes is she better than aizen in my opinion as of right now no uh, i think it's the same thing uh, same dilemma when it comes to the tech tla soy phone tech tla soy phone was one of the best was considered the best character in the game because she was so fast but as time pro, uh, pro progresses and then you see more harder enemies that's when other characters started to outshine her because she was still fast but if she's not able to one shot you have to waste two strong attacks instead of one so going into this yoruichi uh, i did bring her alone uh, my friend uh, extra he put in zangetsu and lisa but i feel like they kind of tainted the experiment because zangetsu is going to give her more strong attack damage and lisa is going to give her uh, more damage against status ailment affected enemies so you'll see there already weakened the enemy first strong attack boom boom 19,000 without a crit so keep in mind this is a one of five showcase right so <clears throat> first strong attack we're gonna hit for 6.3k as a critical and i want to show how much that first strong attack does without a crit i mean without uh the status ailment um Okay, let's lose the spiritual pressure boost real quick. What's up, cutie? All right, I forgot that you do your haymakers. All right, for a strong attack. Yeah, so 3,800 crit versus um, whatever we were talking about before. Really? I, I hate it when they dodge, bro. <laughs> La vaina. So for a strong attack. Yeah, it's like 6,200 crit versus 3,800. Like, just, just think of that. Like, 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 look at the damage. 60, was it 6,200 divided by 3,800. Sorry, my wrist is kind of shot. Yeah, you see there, 63%. So you're getting like 63% more damage with that spiritual pressure boost. Originally, it used to be 80% more damage, or at least it used to be for Kisuke. I don't know if they nerfed the spiritual pressure 80%. Because I did extensive, like, freaking tests on that. And uh, now it's not as 41,000 on the enemy that got weakened. Look at that, 42,000 there. Yeah, so 750 AoE distant of uh, first strong attack. It is a good first strong attack, but honestly, in this day and age when, like, characters are just getting, like, 3,000 link beams. I'm sorry, Caleb, as much as I, I, I love the 3,000 link beam, 
I feel like Caleb kind of shot themselves in the foot because now any strong attack that's not a 3000 link beam, in my opinion, is probably going to be inferior to almost everything in the game. Like everything else in the game if they're a first strong attack. Even Arbuk Ichigo's uh, first strong attack that is literally, that has that 20% extra damage for being a first, holy, okay, oops, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. All right, uh, let, let's just take her into IZ. I want to see what kind of damage we can put out uh, uh, in that regards. I do think this Yorobichi is interesting because her gameplay feels like a Lunar New Year uh, Yorobichi, like the banner that we just got with Rangiku and Rukia. So it's it's very, very weird that, that this character has a lot of moon aesthetics when it comes down to it. Like she has a lot of crescent moon aesthetics. All right, so let's uh, take her in, full boosters, no allies, that way we don't get any uh, randomness over here. So, <clears throat> first strong attack, 24, uh, 20,000 into 24,000, 37,000 with the spiritual pressure boost. So, ah, uh, la vaina, yeah, ya tu sabe de la vaina, okay, so, uh, what was that like 37,000 divided by 24,000? Get like 54% more damage. Oh, that then never mind. That enemy was just weakened. 23,000 didn't proc. I need. Okay, cool. Whoa, whoa, hey! Okay, cool. 34,000, there you go. 42,000. Forty-six. Oh, that's right. It's twenty k. Damn. Her damage numbers are like off the charts, though. Thirty-nine thousand. Forty-one k. And then with the long stride, you have four flash steps too. Come on. Keep in mind she has her spiritual pressure boost equipped right now. 102,000 into 161,000. Yeah, that's about right. So keep in mind, uh, weakening is a 50% damage multiplier boost to your attacks. So if, an, if you were to deal 100 damage and then they get weakened, you will now deal 150 damage from the subsequent hits, roughly. All right, let's bring her in again. She's she's really good. I see a lot of people saying that she's bad. I I don't know how you're so bad at this game that you think that this character is bad. I, I genuinely don't don't understand. Really? Owari die, yeah, shut up. 66,000 on the OFUR, bro. <laughs> that He definitely got weakened, bro. He got weak in the knees. And and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much Yoruichi in a nutshell. She's an excellent character. I, I don't see how people are saying that she's a mid character. If you think she's mid, please unsubscribe from my channel, bro. Or at least comment that she's mid so I can do you the favor of banning you, please. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it there. Guys, I'll catch up with him. Stay blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Yeah, Richie. Yeah, please suck them toes. Thank you.